Kate Middleton's recent appearance at the Wimbledon Tennis Championships on Sunday might be her last public engagement for a while, according to a prominent royal author. The Princess of Wales, who is 42 years old, received a standing ovation from the crowd at the annual Grand Slam event, marking her first major public appearance since revealing her cancer diagnosis four months ago. Robert Jobson, a renowned royal author and the writer of the upcoming book Catherine, The Princess of Wales, a biography of the future queen, shared insights into Kate's recovery and future plans. Jobson explained that Kate's approach to life has changed significantly since her diagnosis. Before, she used to live her life by the calendar, and now she is living her life, and the calendar comes in after, Jobson told People. He emphasized that while she will return to her royal duties eventually, her health and recovery are now her top priorities. Kensington Palace has been contacted for further comments on her condition. During her appearance at Wimbledon, Kate delighted fans by arriving at the All England Lawn Tennis Club with her nine-year-old daughter, Princess Charlotte, and her sister, Pippa Middleton. An expert lip reader has since deciphered Kate's reactions to the enthusiastic applause she received, revealing the royal's emotional response to the support from the crowd. Jobson noted that Princess Catherine displayed remarkable courage and character, fully aware that her every move was being watched by the world. Echoing Jobson's sentiments, a Palace insider mentioned that the positive reception at Wimbledon likely provided Kate with much-needed emotional sustenance. She has gone through something awful and stressful, and it is crucial to have little wins to look forward to or to give you the courage and energy to go forward. And this was it, the source said. Kate had previously announced her cancer diagnosis in a pre-recorded video in March and had since stayed away from public engagements to focus on her treatment. In a letter written three months after her diagnosis, Kate shared that she was making good progress but experienced both good and bad days as she underwent chemotherapy. This candid update highlighted her ongoing struggle and determination to recover. Her appearance at Wimbledon was preceded by another significant public event, the Trooping the Colour Ceremony, where she joined the royal family on the Buckingham Palace balcony to celebrate King Charles's birthday. With these two high-profile public appearances completed, Kate is expected to step away from the spotlight once more to continue her treatment. The Princess of Wales will spend the warm summer months at Enmer Hall, the family's country home on the Sandringham Estate in Norfolk, England. According to an insider, spending time with her family in a more private setting will be crucial for her recovery. Being with her family and just being herself will give her energy. There will be plenty of time to focus on her recovery, the source added. It is likely that Kate, along with her husband, Prince William, and their three children, George, Charlotte, and Louis, will also spend time at Balmoral Castle later in the summer. They are expected to meet up with King Charles and Queen Camilla, who will be residing there during their summer break. This period of rest and family bonding is seen as essential for Kate as she continues her journey towards full recovery.